Today's video is going to show you how to get some zone A gap pressure in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and yesterday we had a little bit of trouble getting our man blitz to work properly in practice mode, uh, but hopefully today our zone blitz will work a little bit more effectively. It actually is a little bit different in the way that it works, it functions a lot better. It's the same exact setup, but it's from a zone look, and in my opinion it's just a little bit better of a play overall. But anyway, it comes to us from the Big Dime 146, and uh, the play we're going to be utilizing is the overload. 3 press. You see that these blitz angles are very similar to the overload blitz. Uh, just a little bitty, little bitty difference, a little bitty nuance. But anyway, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to baseline. We want to press. We want to shift our line to the right. We want to crash our line to the left. And then we want to pinch our linebackers. From there, this blitz is set up completely. We like to bring the safety down, Marlow. I actually like to bring, normally like to bring both safeties down for the run defense, the run support. Um, but anyway, we're going to see that. Set the pressure up. And there you see we've got screaming gap pressure um, at Cameron Newton as you uh, like yesterday we recommend putting a guy uh, with high acceleration in that position in that defensive tackle position uh, but anyways guys you'll see it here um, in practice mode if you run the same blitz multiple times it actually has a little bit harder of a time at getting in if you're uh, and also um, these players only have like 88 acceleration or you know whatever it may be but for like the for like teams like the Seahawks you can use this guy uh, Kevin Pierre Louise I think is his name he has 94 acceleration I'm pretty sure or 93 one of those and when they get into the 90s this play actually gets a lot better um, the other thing about this play uh, is for men ultimate team the guy I recommend putting there is Aaron Lynch. He's got really good block shed. Really, really, really good acceleration. He's got 96 acceleration. Um, one of the best budget players in Mutt. In my opinion, the best budget player in Mutt because he changes changes the way your defense is played. But uh, anyways, guys, this is what we've got for you. Uh, based on lot, what you want to do with this play, as you can see, it, it, it's coming in some and come not coming in some. It's mainly revolving around the fact that that the uh, the way that the practice mode works is if your line, if you shift your line a specific way, it doesn't always work quite as quite the way we want it to. As you can see here, we're having a little trouble with it coming in. But the idea is still the same. The pressure still the same. The setup still the same. And you're gonna find that when you go into game mode, it actually works a lot better and even much better in Mutt because in Mutt you're going to have uh, roided up players. You're going to have guys with like Aaron Lynch with 96 acceleration that can come in are designed for that. Guys like uh, Nate Askew, Brandon Watts, those guys with high acceleration. Um, one thing, if you want to get this work to practice mode, what you want to do is you want to bring this slot corner in off the line of scrimmage. What you're going to see is when you bring him in off the line of scrimmage, it's going to be a lot cleaner uh, of a blitz for you to come in. The reason I don't do this in game mode is because you don't have to do it in game mode and I would rather this corner be out here in case I wanted to hot route him or or man him up against somebody. Uh, but anyways, guys, that was what we that's what we got for you. Let me go over the setup one more time. You want to uh, you want to come out. You want to shift your line to the right. You want to crash them to the left. You want to baseline press, and then you want to pinch your linebackers. From there, you're all set up. You're going to get a nice a gap pressure uh, at the quarterback here. In 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 in, in practice mode, uh, as you can see, it's kind of a little finicky. What we want to do in practice mode is you want to slide that corner. And so if the blitz isn't working for you, if you if you're having some low success rate, then you want to baseline, you want to press, you want to shift your line to the right, you want to crash them to the left, you want to pinch your linebackers, and then you want to take this corner and you want to move him right off the edge here. And what you're going to see is it's going to set it up, and they're going to get some very clean rush angles at the quarterback. So that's how we like to get zone pressure in Madden NFL 16 from the Dime 146. Some really good A-gap blitz for you guys. It's really, really good and effective in much. So uh, be sure to put that in your audibles or, uh, you know, come out in a lot. I really like that. That's my base play from the Overload 3 Press. I come out in it, and then I audible into the Cover 2 Sync base play, which we talked about uh, in the first video. But anyways, guys, that's what we've got for you today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be going over some coverage. It's probably the best portion uh, of this uh, Dime 146 is the coverage. Um, the coverage is so, so good. It's a very, very good formation, especially for pass-heavy teams. And uh, we're going to break that down for you tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. If you have any questions about this blitz, I know there may be some. Uh, be sure to leave those in the comments, and hopefully I can get back with you uh, within a day or two. Uh, and hopefully we can kind of dialogue and talk a little bit.